Yes, in fact, people do concern themselves with waxing door jams. As a professional detailer, I know I do. You know why? Because eons ago, I had customers that asked after I would come out after I was done detailing the car and say, oh, did you wax my door jams, Darren? This is like, oh, as a beginner, I just thought, you know what, that's irrelevant. They're not exposed to the elements, but as car owners, a lot of car owners are highly emotionally attached to their cars. They will overthink the details more than you will as a detailer, especially if you're a beginner. Okay, boys and girls, welcome back to another video. And obviously I'm going to be discussing how to wax door jams. The biggest problem with door jams is this, they're not just paint. So the problem becomes with any door jam, it's not just paint. There's many materials that you're gonna to have to deal with. Open any car door and you will quickly see that there's multiple materials. The problem comes when you actually go to pick a wax and you want to wax your car door jams. Because most traditional waxes, whether they're paste or liquid, are what's called staining formulations. They will become chalky, they will haze up, and they will stain any black trim. So, what do we do about this? Well, let me show you what I do. So often, guys that f have followed me for any length of time, it's like, Darren, I don't wanna know all the details, just show me what you do. I trust you, just show me what you do. So. I'm gonna do that. And that's where I am. I'm actually gonna give you two options. I'm using my threshold and door jam area of my particular car, which represents a very common theme, which is you have the painted area and you've got a plastic or vinyl threshold plate, which then bleeds into a rubber gasket, which then bleeds in further inside into more plastic trim. So, my go-to product for this is this waterborne technology non-staining formulation called the Q7 Wax put out by Clear Coat Solutions. This is a ultra simple way because it can be used on virtually any material that's non-porous, meaning I'm not gonna use it on carpeting, I'm not gonna use it on uncoated suede leather for example, but virtually anything else, it goes. Here we have the painted area, obviously. Then we have the threshold plate. It's made out of plastic. There's a metal strip to it. It's got a clear protective coating on it, as far as I can tell. Here we have the rubber gasket, which immediately then transitions into the interior, which we have a plastic or a vinyl threshold plate. So once again, multiple materials, but this product is your winning combination. Two ways to apply this. You can spray it directly on the materials and I'm going to do this subtly because I don't really wanna get it on the carpeting inside here. But the carpeting doesn't start till way down here because this threshold plate wraps all the way around. So here we have the wax. I use my microfiber cloth and I can wax directly over the trim. I can wax my door jams. I've already waxed the exterior of the paint. So really what I do is after I've waxed my entire car, I have a cloth that's highly saturated with wax already. So now I can just come in and touch these up while applying a layer of wax. So that would be the simplest way but if you just wanna make it a separate project, this is what I would do. I polish it in, rub it in, call it whatever you want, flip the cloth over, and bam, now I have wax door jams. I've also treated my vinyl here, I've treated the rubber gasket here, and I've treated the interior vinyl piece here, and I could just work my way from there. I could literally work as far into the interior if I wanted to, or I could then address the other areas of the door jam. For example, the door jam and the love that it gives continues because we now have the actual jam of the door itself. 
Once again, it's not just paint. It butts up right next against this vinyl plastic door panel. We have a rubber gasket here. We've got some different type of plastic rubberized material here. So when you start dissecting a car, you start to realize that the materials, they're many and they take on many types of appearances and feels and compositions. So you could have a very soft rubbery uh, gasket here that suddenly transition into a more firm plastic like uh, fitting or gasket up here. And so it's very hard to navigate around all these materials. Do I really want to select a very dedicated product? Like, oh, here I need a vinyl or plastic product that's dedicated. Here, I don't even know what to do with that because I can't quite tell if it's true rubber or if it's true plastic. It's kind of a combination of both. It's confusing my brain and overloading my circuit board. Here we have nothing but what feels like a, a definite rubber gasket. Here we have clearly paint. Right here we have a grommet that's made out of plastic. So it, it can overload your circuit board, especially for the OCD type of car owners. And there's plenty of you out there, I get it. But once again, this is why I'm so in love with the Q7 Wax. It's a very simple answer to what can become a complex question. Got my cloth, it's got some wax already on it. Now I can wax the door jam of this area. I don't have to worry about all these different types of materials because this will not only be safe for it, but it will actually be beneficial for those materials, regardless of the true composition of them. So I don't have to worry about taping this off, overthinking it, because I'm worried about getting my traditional haze up, paste up type of wax that's gonna stain these types of materials. Now I can focus on what I want to and know that the surrounding materials are totally safe and actually will benefit from the use of this wax. So here I am waxing the painted areas. That's my first priority, but I'm going to deliberately put some on this rubber gasket, as well as this rubber plastic type of gasket, as well as this true plastic vinyl door panel. So bam, it can be as simple as that. But wait folks, there's more. What if you wanted to, in fact, treat those materials individually? Well, I do have a simple answer for that also. And that is, yet again, a product by Clearcoat Solutions, new tire lotion. Not only is this ideally suited for my tires, it's what I do. What's so cool about it is that it dries to the touch which means if you're using it on your tires, there's not gonna be any of that unwanted tire sling. On the interior of your car, it can be used on many materials, virtually any non-porous material. Coated car leather, vinyl plastic trim, rubber gaskets. So there's people that not only want a more dedicated product, I understand that, but they also want more of an enhanced appearance. So if you were to keep it ultra simple and use the wax while you're waxing your door jams, this wax is not going to create a, a very heavy shine at all. In fact, when you apply it to your plastic interior pieces, whether it's rubber, plastic, vinyl, it's going to subtly enhance it. And I mean subtly. But let's say Two things, one, you would like a more dedicated product, and secondly, you want more of an enhanced appearance. Well, that's where I would reach for the new tire lotion. Now, when it comes to the application of, well, most of the products, you always have a couple choices. I default, as a rule, to a microfiber cloth. When it comes to dressing tires, I default to this sponge. To me, this is the best tire applicator I have ever found and continue to use it 20 years later. So with this specific situation, I have a plastic threshold plate that is buttered up or laid on top of my white paint. So we can go about this in a 
very specific way. Here I have my tire applicator. I've got my new tire lotion. I spray to this because once again, this is where trade-offs come in. You wax it, your door jam, and now you're worried about getting the wax onto the vinyl piece. Well, I answered that question for you. You don't have to worry about it any longer if you use the Q7 wax. But let's say you wanna use the tire dressing on the vinyl piece, and now you're worried about getting it on the paint. Well, that's where trade-offs come, come in. First off, it's not gonna damage your car paint, so you don't have to worry about that. But do you really want tire dressing on the paint? Well, my answer is no, you don't. So that's where you're gonna to have to finesse the moment. So you can apply the tire dressing as you know precise as you want, keeping it contained as much as you can onto the vinyl trim. But you have to accept that you're probably going to get some overlap onto the car paint. No big deal. Simply wipe it up with your microfiber cloth. So you'll notice that that did not increase at a dramatic level the shine and luster of this. It created some wanted luster, but it's not the kind of shine and it's certainly not the kind of greasy, oily feel that you'll get with traditional dressings. But it did enhance the luster of it more than the wax. So officially, this is what I did when I first got this car, is that I treated these with the new tire lotion. Because it dries to the touch, I do not have to worry about it moving forward of this soiling my clothes as I get in and out of the car. I don't have to worry about uh, accumulating dirt and dust that's going to cling to it because it remains oily and sticky and gooey. Also, because all of these products are meant to work together because of the base chemistry of it, now moving forward, I can simply maintain this area by just using the wax or the detailer if you want to do that. But I prefer the wax because I'm going to be waxing my car anyways. This has paint on it. I want to get some wax onto the painted door jams. But at the same time, it's so versatile. Now while I'm waxing my door jams, I simply use the same cloth and I apply it directly over the vinyl trim. Even though prior, as in weeks and months ago, I treated this trim piece with the dedicated tire lotion. But it works just fine. They work in harmony with each other. It's part of a very systematic approach. So this is where you, as a car owner, and as a detailer, that's where you decide your strategy. Okay, I've waxed the car. I'm gonna do the door jams. Do I wanna touch up the threshold plate? I'm just trying to illustrate how versatile and how user-friendly these products are. And really, what does Darren do when it comes to waxing his door jams? Hopefully that's answered a few questions for you. As always, check the links below each video that will tell you or direct you in ways in which you can get these products if in fact you'd like to test them out yourself. Okay, till next time, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for joining in. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, make some comments below. And we'll see you then.